everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's a wild day today. It's like plus two degrees Celsius in Saskatchewan, Canada on January 22nd, 2023. <laughs> I don't know what mother nature is feeling lately, but it's been an insanely warm winter. And today, because it was so warm, it rained which is absolutely wild. I don't think I've ever experienced rain in January. And the amount of fog that we've had this winter is not something that we've had before either. Like, I don't know, it was like two or three weeks of just straight fog. We did not see the sun. So that was wild. But today, right now, since it did rain, we are bedding up corrals again because we can't have these ladies and laddies having wet bedding for when it gets cooler again tonight. So that's what we're doing right now. The wind is making my eyes water, but yeah, we've got two more corrals left to do. One more bale in each corral, so that just means one load with that bale shredder. And then I'm done bedding up corrals. Everybody seems to be enjoying the fresh straw. So I'm feeding calves now. It's a little while later. And these are some of the newest babies we have. And this guy was born like an hour ago. So, one new calf today. And then I wanted to show you guys this little lady because last video I asked you guys for name suggestions for her. And we named her Majesty. <laughs> So I really was gonna name her Matilda, but for whatever reason, I wrote down Majesty instead. So, good day, your Majesty. <laughs> I think somebody suggested the name Majestic, so it kind of was part of the suggestion, so. Thank you for all of the lovely name suggestions, and I will be using some more of those in the future for M babies. She sure is cute.
So there was one calf that I made a video about, uh, baby born backwards, 1975, born on December 8th. And I never gave you guys an update as to what her name is. So you just saw her name is Shiver, which I thought was super cute. So for those of you that were wondering, this girl's name is Shiver. Hey, you got a milk mustache? You did a nasty poopy on the wall there, Misty. She was also feeling a little under the weather a couple weeks ago, but we were able to get her over that. She's back to good health. And so are Aries and Salamander. They're actually going through the weaning process right now. So they're not very happy with me <laughs> or my mom or my sister because that's the three people that feed the calves over here. Just listen. Hi! <laughs> They're the wieners. <laughs> so this is Aries. She's looking a lot better. Hey, stinky. And Salamander. Super quiet this one and now Aries is back to her hyper self. Hey. <laughs> so I had a couple of you guys asking what's up with Salamander. She's not really red, but she's not black. She's kind of chocolate. And her sire is a red bull, but her dam was a black and white. So sometimes when you have a red and white dam or sire that is bred to a black or red and white and they end up having a black and white baby that looks chocolate like that it's just a temporary coat so when she sheds her baby hair or in the spring when she gets her summer hair she will most likely just look jet black but right now she's got that sort of chocolatey really cute look to her but that's only temporary it's just because her sire is red so she herself is considered black and white but yeah she looks chocolate right now so I'm in the goat barn and this is Rhea and then over here we have Sinbad Ginger and Bella and Bella's been a bit stiff lately just because she's got such a big belly. So I did the bump test on Rhea and on Bella not too long ago. They're both bred to Sinbad, so hopefully we're gonna get some really cute spotty babies just like him. Yeah, you're a handsome guy. And I could feel babies. So apparently you can feel babies when they are three or more months pregnant. A goat's gestation should be five months when they are full term, and that's just for all goats, whether it's dwarves or full size, like the boar goats that I have. So it looks like, hey, princess, it looks like we are going to have two Nigerian dwarf goats kidding in March if all goes well. So hopefully. I bump tested them accurate. I watched a video from Crystal from Blue Cactus Dairy Goats just to see how because I knew how to do it for my rabbits and I've learned how to do it for the cows and it was really cool to learn about how I can do that for the goats as well. So that's one way to determine a positive pregnancy although it takes a bit longer than doing a blood test because when you blood test them you can figure that out from 30 or more days or ultrasounds. And ultrasound machines are quite expensive, so I am not going to invest in one yet. But I will be doing that in the future when my herd is a bit bigger. So yeah, two does that are pregnant for March babies. So I'm super excited. The warm weather today has got me thinking a lot about little baby goats. And yeah, I feel really good about today. Kind of needed that warm weather. 
and the sun. It was getting kind of depressing with all that fog and like zero sun, so. That's gonna be where I end the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please like it, subscribe, and share it with a friend. If you made it to the end of the video, comment some cute Western names for the girls. I'd like to have a couple of cute Western names for girls. And a bonus one. Comment how many you think she'll have. Her first kidding, she had one, and her second kidding, she had four. So I think she's gonna have three this round. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.